before you start, you might this one. Uh, before you start, you might want to go over some animal defense strategies. And we have another sample from the Museum of Nature and Science here. So there's just a few samples in here, but camouflage, mimicry, and simulation. So there's a there's some tree hopper bugs that look like thorns and a walking stick. And mimicry is the butterflies monarch and the other. Oh, let's see the other kind. Well, the, oh yeah, this are right. So the monarch is distasteful, but the other one mimics it, and so it doesn't it doesn't have a bad flavor. But they don't know that. And then there's a stinging bee and a moth, a bee moth, and this bark beetle and the moth. So anyway, those are good examples, hands on that they can see um, the different kinds of um, defense strategy. Then you're going to get in here, and here's some other defense strategies on the laminated. Uh, this is bugger bloom, so it's camouflage. This one's kind of a fright technique and or um, camouflage. What else do I have? Some more camouflage. So this is mostly camouflage defense technique or lookalikes. So anyways, you can go through those. And then what I have not done yet is cut them all out, but on the each puzzle has we're going to put all the puzzles pieces on the table for the big kids, and then they're just going to try and figure out all these puzzles. There's, I think, I don't know, 15 of them or so. So um, there's all these different puzzles, and it's listed in the outline. A, puzzles are prickly. B, or smells bad. And so we're going to try and figure out. So on the back of the puzzles, I have uh, A on each little corner, on each little piece, so that you'll be able to figure it out if, if you really are struggling. So they'll put it together, and they figure it out, and they're like, well, what do these things all have in common? This one is a chestnut prickly pear cactus and porcupine. So you'll talk about the defense, and of course, again, you're gonna point out that it's animals and plants have this defense, and they're all prickly. And so um, you'll go through, you know, if you only wanna bring out five at a time, whatever you wanna do, but we'll have these puzzles in Ziplocs, and they'll all be separated out for you. But you wanna mix them up pretty good so that the kids don't know. And they're all different shapes. There's some curvy lines and some uh, more angular lines, so it should be pretty challenging for them. Besides the outline, there is a key just for all of us that are extra challenged and can't find stuff organized manner. So once you go through that, we also have, um, you can talk about additional strategies, and we have pictures in here to cover with additional strategies. So we have a skunk and a poison dart frog. Most of the stuff already kind of covered, but if you have kids for the first time in the center, they'll be curious about all this stuff. An armadillo with its armor, a hedgehog, octopus, which is camouflage, chameleon, I mean, yes, chameleon, bison with his horns. So anyways, you can go through these individually too. So this center is also going to go pretty quickly. This, um, these two centers, maybe you could combine, even I'm not sure what the pantomiming and the puzzles. We'll have to see for the older grades. And that's all I have for center four. Any questions? Okay, on to center five.